friends, it's HiFi Trainer. In this video, we're gonna learn about how to draw amazing trend lines that work. But if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. As you can see on this screen, we have made quite a few videos on trading and I'll be making even more videos. So please make sure to subscribe. Okay, now going into the video, just remember that trend line is made up of two words, trend and line. Just remember this as we'll be needing it later in this video. I'll begin by saying that there is no correct way of drawing trend lines. But what I mean is that you might draw trend lines different from other people, but it might be just as right. Some people say that you have to be very precise about the highs and lows, and others say it does not have to be so precise, as long as it is plotting as many highs or lows as possible. In this video, we'll look at both types of trend lines so that you can see and decide upon which one is better for you. Trading is all about seeing what works for you and using that for greater accuracy in your trades. The dictionary way of drawing trend lines is to plot the highs or the lows together. Let me show you what this means. So here, think of this as a high, think of this as a low, a higher high, higher low, higher high, etc. So here, we can clearly see that it's following Dow theory and is in an uptrend due to its higher highs and higher lows. Now I'm going to draw a line that connects the highs together. Just think, the market is going in a trend, which is in an uptrend, and we have a line plotting the highs, trend and line. Trend and line makes trend line. This is why I told you to remember these two words at the start of the video because they give a definition for themselves. Okay, now let's plot our trend line for the lows. And this forms a trend line as well. This is one of the way of plotting trend lines. Another way of plotting trend lines is by being much more forgiving. Well, I'm sure you have understood nothing. What it means is that you don't have to plot the lines exactly, but try to plot the areas with the most highs connecting. Take a look at this trend. This is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, and so on. So in this example, we can either connect the high strictly in this way. But if you see here, all these highs are not connecting. Or you can be much more flexible and or forgiving and connect the highs in this way. Even though you're not connecting this high, you're connecting most of the highs. So you can clearly see where the trend is going. Let's draw the same for the lows. So let's change the color. So if you see this trend line connects the lows much better, but it goes right through one of the low, as you can see over here. But it's all up to you which one you prefer. Do you like it in this way or in this way? Again, these both are fine, these both are counted as trend lines, but it's all up to you which one you'd like to use in your trades. Now another important point in drawing a trend line is that it needs to connect at least two highs or lows. Take a look at this, how are you gonna draw a trend line here? You, you can't simply just do this, this isn't a trend line. As I've told you before, a trend line should at least hit two highs or two lows. So if it's like this, this could be a trend line. Or this could be a trend line. Another point is that trend lines need to have some kind of angle. They should not exactly be horizontal as they're just called support and resistance lines, not trend lines. On this example, these are support and resistance points. This is a ranging market. This is not a trending market. Therefore, you can't call these lines as trend lines. This is Hiromotoko's daily chart. Take a look here. This is its trend line connecting its lows. And this is its trend line connecting its highs. So this is Hiromotoko's trend line, and as you practice more, you can draw the trend lines better. 
It's just like as you practice playing tennis more, you play tennis better, or as you practice playing chess more, you play chess better. This is Bajaj Finance's daily chart. Take a look here. This is its trend line connecting the highs, and this is its trend line connecting the lows. Remember that when trend lines are broken, there would be a retest before it goes down or up further. So in this example, the tr trend line is broken and then it retested before going lower. If you don't understand this, I'll be uploading a video on breakouts soon so you can look at that on my channel page. This is Microsoft's daily chart. Take a look here. This trend line connects the highs and this trend line connects the lows. You can plot trend lines on any time frame from one minute to monthly time frames. But remember this, if you're a beginner, don't go for time frames below one hour because you can see a lot of whipsaws which would put you off track. Okay, the outcomes of this video are number one, trend lines need to connect at least two highs or lows. Number two, trend lines should have some angle to them or there'll be support and resistance lines. And number three, you can draw trend lines in two ways either strictly plotting the highs or lows, or be more forgiving and use them as a rough guide. Okay friends, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want more trading related content from me, then please subscribe.